Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to solve problems involving credit cards. Of course, there's a PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one. Blake opens a new credit card account on 1st of May. He uses it for the first time. On 4th of May to buy a concert ticket for $850. He made no further purchases or repayment during the month of May. A statement for the credit card issued on the last day of each month. The statement for the May shows that the interest is charged at 19.75% per annum. Compound daily. From 20th of May included until 21st of May included. Part A. What is the compound interest show on the statement issue on the 31st of May? So on the 31st of May, the statement will show the amount that he's owed, that is $850 plus the interest. But to work out the interest, we use compound formulas. Okay, so let's get into this. To work out the compound interest, so first of all, we need to work out how many days are there between 20th of May and 31st of May, okay, including both of them, okay. So to do this, so we just go 31st of May minus 20th of May. So that is 31 minus 20 is 11. But then we need to including 20 of May as well, okay. So this is already including when th 31 minus 20. So now we're including 20, so that will give me 12 days. So we need to add one day for the 20th, okay? So 12 days. Otherwise, we can just quickly write out the days. So that is, so 20th, because we're including 20, okay? And then 21, 22, that is 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. 28th, 29th, and then 30th and 31st. So these are the date that is old, okay? On the interest. So we can just quickly count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. 12 days all together. So which is your compound interest formula. So the future value is equal to the present value, 1 plus R, part of N. Or you can just write A is equal to P, 1 plus R, part of N, if you like. But which is your future value, equal present value, and 1 plus R, part of N. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so now to work it out, we we'll just substitute this value in. And we know that $850 is the amount of balance at the beginning. Okay. So that is how much he owes. So that is the present value. So we just write this down. So $850 and 1 plus R. But then the R is the interest. So we know that the interest is charged 19.75% per annum, mean per year. But then it's calculated daily because compound daily. So therefore we need to convert the interest rate into day. So let me just write this on here r is equal to 19.75 percent per year but to work out per day we know that 365 days in a year so we divide by 365 so that will give me so just go 19.75 divided by 365 so that is 0.054 percent per Day. So let me just store this in memory I first because I'm going to use this number later. So I press answer, shift, store in I. So I just write 0 0.054. 0 0.054 percent per day. So now I can just put that in a formula. So R is equal to 0 0.054 over 100. Power of 12. So now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go 850 brackets 1 plus now alpha a that is 0 
0.54 now percent mean per 100 so out of 100 brackets power of 12 there you go 855 dollars and 54 cents because we're dealing with money so we correct to two decimal place so 855 dollars and 54 cents Now to work out compound interest, which is use the future value minus the um, present value because he's starting off 850 and at the end of the month, he owed this much. So the difference is the compound interest. So therefore interest is equal to 800 and fifty five dollars and fifty four cents with minus a hundred and fifty dollars so therefore it is five dollars and fifty four cents so that is the the interest now part b the minimum payment is calculated as three percent of the closing balance on the 31st of may Calculate the minimum repayment. So therefore, to work our minimum repayment, so what we need to do is we just need to pay 3% of the closing balance. So that means the closing balance means it's including the interest. This is the closing balance. So therefore, we just work out 3% of that. So 3%. So 3 over 100. That means 3% of the closing balance. So that is $855.54. That is how much place owes at the end of May. That is on the 31st of May. Okay. So that will give me, I just put on the calculator. So I just go. So since it is on a calculator now, I just press answer times 3 over 100. So there you go. $25.00. 67 cents again because we're dealing with money so which is correct to two decimal place so 25 dollars and 67 cents so therefore So there you go. So the minimum repayment is $25.67. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there. I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so so you can help me to grow my channel so let's get into it so first of all we know that the opening balance that is on the 20th of april okay so um ashley bought a furniture at the cost of three thousand and seven hundred dollars and the interest is 18.25 percent per annum so that's the interest and the date is calculated on the 20th April all the way to 30th of April. And we need to include 20 of April and 30th of April because included the purchase date and the last day. Okay. So just remember that. So therefore, first of all, to work out the date, let me just work out the date first. Okay. Number of date, that is N, is N if you like. So it's 30 minus 20 so that is 10 but then it's including the first and the last okay so 30 minus 20 is already included the 30th but we did not include 20 so which is at one day on top so therefore n is equal to 11 days again if you're not 100 percent sure you can just write it down quickly so let me just write this out here okay so is that 20th and 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th, 
27, 28, 29, and 30. Because it's including both 20 and 30th. Okay. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there you go, 11 days. Now to work out the um, interest, the R. So we know that the interest is charged 18.25% per annum. That means per year. But then it charged daily. So we need to convert that into per day. So to do that, so R is equal to 18.25. And we know that there are 365 days in a year. So we divide that into 365. So that will give me, so we just go 18.25 divided by 365. So that is 0 0.05 percent per day. So now we just use the compound formula. So the compound formula is the future value is equal to present value 1 plus R pop N. And the future value is 3700. So 3,700. And we times by 1 plus the R. R is the, the interest. So the interest is 0.05% per day. So we just add 0.05 over 100. Because 0.05% is 0.05 over 100. And then this is part of N. N is 11 days. So there you go. Now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go 3,700 and with brackets 1 plus 0 0.05 over 100. That is 0.05% and power of 11. So there you go. This is the that's future value. And in another word, it is the closing balance. That is how much actually owe at the end of April, that is 30th of April. So $3,720.40. So equal $3,720.40. So that is the closing balance. Now to work out the minimum payment, okay, Ashley need to pay 2% of the closing balance. So this is the closing balance. So she had to pay 2% of that. So 2% of 3720 dollars and 40 cents. So that will give me, so I already have the answer on the screen. So all I need to do is just go answer times 2 over 100. So there you go, $74 and 41 cents. So therefore, So there you go. So therefore, the minimum payment is $74.41. And I hope you got it correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.